Well, Miko, how Miko, are you Miko, you talking to the grand jury? Marlon Brando's son, Miko, wouldn't talk to reporters, but he spent nearly four hours talking to a Santa Barbara County grand jury. Brando, who works for Michael Jackson, was the first of a dozen witnesses scheduled to testify in the now escalating criminal investigation against the singer. Good morning. Santa Barbara County DA Tom Snedden, the man in the glasses, has apparently joined forces with the two L.A. County deputy DAs working on the case, although no one would actually confirm or deny the existence of a grand jury. We have been working well together. We share information. That will continue. The grand jury investigation is significant because it's seen as a turning point in this case. After months of depositions in the now settled civil lawsuit against Jackson, this is the first public step that the criminal case is going forward because the grand jury does have the right to return an indictment. The testimony is being heard in Santa Barbara because that's where Jackson's Neverland Ranch is located. The case is still believed to be centered on the 14-year-old boy who recently settled his multi-million dollar civil suit against the singer. Investigators believe Brando, who still works at Neverland, may have witnessed some illegal acts, but he may be reluctant to talk. At one point, a Santa Barbara County judge was escorted into the grand jury room by the DA, presumably to try and convince Brando to talk. The boy may also need some convincing. There is speculation he may not testify after settling his lawsuit, and Garcetti is trying to change the state law to force him. You might have a, quote, named defendant, end quote, who has megabucks or a lot of money. That person should not be able to affect the criminal justice system. But right now, the system is moving forward. Even though Michael Jackson may have already been judged in the court of public opinion, it seems the grand jury will have the final say. In Santa Barbara, David Goldstein, Channel 9 News.